Welcome to Fanny Magnet. Right now in this video, I'll show you what exactly is Apple Time Capsule and how it works. Now, if you see, I have a 2TB second generation Apple Time Capsule and let's take a quick overlook here on the back side of the Apple Time Capsule. Now, here you get a, a port for the power supply with this Apple time capsule you get this kind of cord which you can plug here to so that you can get a power for this time capsule then you have a USB then you have a van and three LAN ports so the cable which is given by the internet you know the internet provider you have to plug it here and from here you can take three connections and definitely this is a wireless this also work on wireless like a wireless router now if you see here there is a little indicator okay generally when you will turn it on it will become you know the it will flash uh, amber color light then later on it will become green the green indicates that it is working fine and there is no problem with this now let's get started with the video you need to understand apple time capsule is a, a combination of a hard drive and a router for example if you you know you can use this as a router at your home as a wireless router which will function or uh, like the normal router you have which will give which can give a Wi-Fi connection to your uh, mobile phone Apple iPad and so on other devices as well as this will work as a storage for example let's assume that I am using this as my router and every time I will have access to the hard drive which is stored in this that means from my computer, from my Mac, from my phone, I can use a software. That software is called Apple Airport Utility. I can use that application and I can access this hard drive and I can store any pictures, files, music on this airport. As well as I can take that information, I can make changes to that. That means that will work as my portable hard drive on this. Now this USB you see okay now let's assume that you are using this as a primary router as well as you are using the hard drive here now when you will connect external hard drive in this one like let's say the portable hard drive you have when you will connect here that will also get detected in this so you will have kind of a two hard drive in this Air, Apple Airport so that's become very easy to store the data that become very easy to take the data and as well as with the time you every time you're connected with your router as well as hard drive at the same time on a one single device now you need to understand i will be making one more video on this on you know in which i will show you the hard drive which is there inside it's the same kind of hard drive which is used in desktop computers so it has a 2 tb of a extra uh, internal hard drive of a desktop which giving which is which gives you a storage of 2 gb to uh, 2 tb now if you look here i have written username and password normally you can set up your own username and password in order to access this drive generally i don't remember there are mm, many devices which i have so i always write the username and password on the device itself now whenever uh, as soon as you will connect this to your computer, you know, or you when, as soon as you connect your internet connection here, then once you get your, once you are connected through a Wi-Fi or LAN cable to this device, it will ask you, the, you will get internet, okay? That's a different. Now it will show you that you have a 2 TB of time capsule. Now whenever you will try to access that, it will ask you for the username and you have to type your username and password and accordingly you can use it and definitely you can create multiple username giving a right kind of permission for example you can also create a user who can only copy the data and cannot store the data so that's completely completely uh, on the user what he want to do on this now uh, I'm using this for this uh, time capsule from a long time now I really do not like this very much the reason is it become hot okay you need to understand as I said, there is a desktop hard drive on this and hard drive gets, you know, hot with the time and the whole device gets hot all the time. 
and I in this home I do not have with the you know the AC kind of thing so this generally become you know keep you know gets hot you know 24 by 7 so I stop using this and I'm using my standard router uh, but I do use this for backup kind of thing whenever I want to take a backup or you know a huge backup let's say like uh, 50 500 GB 1000 GB something that time I connect this Apple airport to my uh, network and I copy the data in this and I store this and one more best part of this is uh, you can also connect uh, using a Wi-Fi connection for example if you're using a laptop which is connected to this or uh, you know on a Wi-Fi network you will have the access to the hard drive and you can copy paste the data you can you, you know you can store the data you can remove the data on a Wi-Fi network so you really don't need to be physically connected to this but you can use it wirelessly and also you can use your uh, other uh, you know uh, like uh, iPhone iPads to connect this drive you just need a one utility that is called Apple Airport and uh, you can all and you can also use this device as a extended network on your router as well as you can use this only for storing data like even if you do not you know connect to the uh, internet you can use uh, this device to store the data using a Wi-Fi connection now I'll take you to my to the computer and I'll show you how to exactly set up this so before we start let's understand the basic the first thing you have to put the power plug here okay here we go and here in this one you have to connect if you let me zoom it so that you can see the little logo okay it's clear now you can see the first one has a circle and rest three have you know it's like a arrow kind of symbol now the the circle stands for the van and rest other are for the local network so what I'm going to do in this I'm going to connect this to my router okay I'm not going to connect this directly to my internet what I'm going to do I'm going to take one connection from my router and will plug it in this one so that I can have access to this one so let's go to the computer and let's take a look how this thing work so right now I have uh, just put the power to my time capsule and uh, you know the time capsule is connected with my router and now I will have access to the time capsule from my Mac computer because all are in same network you need to understand my time capsule is already synced with my router and my router is connected to my uh, computer so that there is a definitely there is a communication between all the devices so in order to open your the time capsule you have just have to click on launch pad and type airport so you can see that the internet and here is a mic tc that is time capsule is connected on my uh, on this computer now how to access the data from this is very simple just open any folder okay any folder and if you click on if you go here you can see shared okay and here you can see that uh, here you can see that the time capsule uh, folder once you open that you it will ask you for the username and password and you will have access to the time capsule now you need to understand it the reason it did not ask me for the password because uh, the password is I've already set up and everything is saved on this one so the communication is already happening in all the devices like my Mac my router and my Apple device or uh, Apple time capsule so that's why it did not ask me for the password but whenever you will connect for the first time it will do it will ask you for that now let's this is the way how you can access the files and folder simply by clicking going to the shared folder on the Mac now if you go to airport utility which I have opened using the launch pad here you will see the time capsule which is connected now if I click on edit okay this is the information where you have to set up your airport utility like the time capsule so first thing the base station name whatever I want to set I can set I can set the password verify the password now in the internet part 
if I'm using this Apple time capsule as my primary router kind of thing that time I have to configure this but as right now I am not using this as my primary internet connection I'm using a Linksys router so this is just working for me as extended network and a kind of a where I store the data using a Wi-Fi connection so if you're in case if you're planning to use this as your primary internet or uh, router that time you have to configure this the process is very simple uh, type of connection will be DHCP then you have to type the you know what kind of uh, IP address the information your service provider gives you you can also go to this uh, internet options and you can check it here now this wireless right now what what is happening my time capsule is connected to my uh, router okay so that's it that is the reason I have selected here joined a wireless network and if I click on create a wireless network this time capsule will itself become a wireless you know a connection for me where I can access directly a time capsule but right now what I'm doing I'm connecting I'm yeah, I'm you I have um, connecting to my time capsule using my router not directly so this you have in if you're going to create this kind of situation you have to select join a wireless network and type the you know select the wireless network name that's a BC designs that's the name of the router then you have to type the Wi-Fi or the password for your router and so on but in case if you want this individual to be working that time you have to click on create a wireless network and you have to type the you know uh, wireless network name let's say wireless time capsule router and here you can select what kind of you know uh, security you want and the password so that you will able to directly connect with your time capsule and that will also work as a internet in case if you have configured the internet and this extended this extended is kind of you know where it's the same like you know oh, which I already have or uh, where I have joined you know con uh, connected to my uh, where I have connected to my existing network so that's the thing you have to that's a consider as an extended network it means it just extend the network for example the router is a small network and by using this time capsule the network will become small network plus a little more network on on my home so that's a wireless thing I know this uh, the whole thing is like completely technical so I'm really sorry if you're not able to understand but you can do, do leave a comment below and I'll definitely try to help you if you are facing any kind of problem with your Apple time capsule now disk this is the important part if you come to the disk here you can completely you can see that I have 1.38 TB of free space uh, the total size of this uh, time capsule is 2 terabytes uh, I have used almost uh, 50 per you know like 30 to 40 percent of that so right now I have 1.3 TB of free space now if you click on erase you can completely wipe out all the data what information you have on this time capsule and you can use it as a new and you can see here secure shared device now anyone who's trying to access this Apple time capsule will require a username and password uh, and by typing that username and password they will able to access my time capsule now you can also create an account on this for example if you want to you know if you want to create two users one or the person who can copy who can save the information as well as who can delete the information but you want one more user who can only copy the information he should not have a right to delete the information there you can definitely create that kind of account on this and you have to give us much special permission on that and you are done once you are done with the setup just click on update and once you update the thing will happen or uh, your time capsule will restart okay as, as I said when the time capsule restart this orange color this become amber color okay kind of a red kind of thing and it restart it's update all the information you have given and so on
so this was a short video on how, how what is apple airport time capsule and how we can use it if you are asking my personal experience i'm not sure about others uh, but my personal experience i really do not use this time capsule as as i said in the video that it become hot okay in order to use this i think you need a place where you have a it's like a like an office or something where you have a uh, you know where you have an AC uh, working 24 by 7 to keep this device cool this temperature goes uh, it become hot and you really don't feel to use this uh, with the time so for my point that's my personal experience I'm not sure how you feel so as I said if you have any kind of query any kind of uh, for, you know uh, questions about this uh, airport utility or time capsule you can comment down below I'll try to answer if not me, there are people who are connected to my channel. They will try to answer your questions. And this was a short video. If you like the video, hit the like button. I will be making one more video on how you can replace the hard drive and how you can service, how you can clean the time capsule. So if you want to see that video, subscribe to the channel so that, you know, whenever I make that video, you get notified. And if you think this video is worth watching, hit the like button for more such videos subscribe to the channel and as always thank you for watching the video have a wonderful day